Hi folks, uh, I'm working from an old um, photograph, well not a photograph, I haven't got any hard copy photographs of my landscape so I very rarely print them off at the uh, print shop. Uh, so I just work, if I want to work from a, a, one of my old paintings, and I've got over 2,000 on Facebook on my uh, art page which you can refer to. Uh, but I'm working from one of those oily ones where you lift out the paint and go going back to a white background, white sort of gesso background. But I went down to the River Wandle yesterday, and if it, as, a, as part of it, it's so beautiful for, for a suburban river. It's wide and shallow, um, and it, it, well, I was looking at how to sort of how the reflections work out. It's the reflections are the are the dark bit in in the water. You wouldn't think so. You think water's white, of course it's not. But you paint it like it. Well, I'll show you the one I'm going to work from. Bear with me. I'll send me to that. That was that was one of the oily ones that I used with the uh, three colours or four colours. But the the water is still not really right. It looks okay but it should have more reflection in and then just a little bit of uh, the sky showing through from about here down. So I'm going to try that and I'm going to use a lot of stipple. I'm, I'm using the watercolour as, not watercolour, the acrylic as watercolour. So there we are. Uh, let's just come up there. So there's my palette. I've, I've put some, I will use some white. For the high, might be the highlights. I'm just using cadmium red, ultramarine, Payne's grey, and and uh, cadmium yellow. I think the cadmium yellow, yeah, cadmium yellow. Not pale. It's quite the ordinary one. You get a good rich dark but, uh, dark green by mixing those three primaries. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll wet the paper. I've got three sheets of this uh, Saunders Waterford ninety pound rough. Um, I've got two, I've got 40 sheets of it on on order from Ken Bromley. It's still a reasonable price, it's, it's still expensive but, but uh, watercolour, art materials I'm afraid are expensive and they have to be paid for folks. Nudge nudge. Listening to, the, to um, online the American elections, all fascinating stuff. I won't tell you what I think because it's nothing to do with American politics. Uh, but I'm going to use um, a medium hake now to put in some sky colour. Right, let's have a little bit of a uh, bit of red, a bit of a bit of yellow, plenty of water. You get this lovely explosion with the acrylic. Over all the, the water, like that. Just give that little tint. Okay, I'm not. I don't think this will dry lighter than when it dries, like the like proper watercolor. But acrylic is a lovely, lovely thing to use. Oops. Get out of it. Let's use a bit of that blue, a bit of red, a little bit of cloud. It's a beautiful day today. Very, uh, very uh, nippy, cold, and frosty this morning. First frost of the season. I'm not going to go do too much over that side because I'm going to put a tree. There's a bank of trees in there coming down here. Right, so let's get a little bit darker. A little bit in the foreground. Okay, that'll do. Now, um, I'm going to. I'm, I should dry that really, but um, I don't want to muck it up. So let's just put a bit of background colour. So I've got a bit of ultramarine and a bit of bit of Payne's grey. 
just to show some background trees. I was asked by one of my patrons about uh, working from photographs, how hard he finds it. Right, so this is where we're going to put in some uh, bit of bit of reflection. I'll leave that there so you can see what I'm doing. If I remember, let's just darken a little bit. The board's about 30 degrees. Yeah, how difficult it was working from most of my paintings because I don't show the selection, but when I'm working from a painting that's already been selected, this is, this is what, you, what we find that um, when you copy from someone else, they've done the selection. You've got the easy job of painting what, you, what they've done. All the extraneous stuff has been left out. And that's why it looks attractive. When you start to overcomplicate it, you've got to be very, very good, very slick to be able to do that. Now it's got a nice line round there, look, nice tide mark. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, no, I still haven't finished with that. I'm going to put in some, some dark shadow. So just that red and blue, a bit of... I'd show you, didn't I? This is the shadow in the uh, in the ground. So let's get a nice rich green here. Three primers. This probably working better in in oil, but you get some wonderful effects with. Uh, with the um, acrylic, and we go really nice and dark in there. Pinch of colour. Could put green bank in there. Right, okay. Right, let's put in some dark on the other side now. Oh, put that down there. Lots of colour, but just three colours, three primaries. This is all good. Look, this is going to be be stippled. Right. Okay. Uh, let's dry it off. Let's see where we go from there. If you want to learn to, to paint exactly from a photograph, go and look at my old friend Smoothie77, John, J-O-N. He shows you how to, how to square it all off. Smoothie77. That's superb. He, he put me on to Patreon. Um, very, very... Well, it, it all comes with hard work. 
there, there aren't any shortcuts really from paint from painting unless you're sort of a Rembrandt or Michelangelo, which I'm not. Uh, another artist I'd highly recommend is is, is Michael James Smith. What we used to exhibit together in the Webster Gallery. I was doing sort of impressionist stuff and he was doing this exact and he now demonstrates how he does it. Superb. But that's if you want to use oil, oil paints. But with Smoothie, he's, uh, water, he just washes in the pencil sketch. Well, sketch, not sketch. He's superb. So I'll have a look at those two. But they are, they are very advanced and they're really great artists. Right, here we go. The late great Terry Harrison, wonderful demonstrator. I saw three of his live demos at my old art group. Um, Marvellous, all acrylic. Beat of all colours as well, but he always de demonstrated acrylic for us using sponges. Um, but I'm sorry, I've moved the camera. Uh, right, put that there. Okay, now I'm going to use this little brush here, Frank Clark's brush. Just break it up a bit. And we'll get in this sort of dark green. Put some pulse pulse on the palette. Oh, okay, paint the brush up, get the greens. So being a opaque when, when it's dry, you can go over and over it. There's so many different ways to, to paint. There's so many materials to choose between. What should I do? What shall I do? Let's get it dark and all down there. I'm going to put some, uh, some reeds in here. Right, okay, we're going to a bit of yellow. This might be a disaster. But I've not had a good week with painting. I tried one on Sunday morning, a bit of a rush job, and it went badly wrong. Well, 
you can use a sponge for this. Terry did. An ordinary on 140 pound bocking food. But he would paint quite large for demonstrating. He would use a half imperial. Sorry, I'm not. Uh, Some, some of that blue and paint is quite enough to put some more colour. Blue, a bit of water. Well, for my American followers, I hope you get your wish, whatever it may be, with the election. Trump's on at the moment. Okay. Using a sponge is very, very messy. I used to use, a, Terry used to use a Dale Rowney Stabert palette. I have one, but, but a bit flimsy. They come, they fall. The one I was using for part. Right now we've just, I've got some more blue. We need to get much more dark in here so I can superimpose the lights. Oh god, it's pouring out there. Get some nice greens in here. a little bit of a pain square I think in here. Pain square very very useful colour. Mixes well with most others. Catching the light. Nothing wrong with a bit of stipple. Go right up to the top here with this one. Water on the palette, greens, touch of red, just warm the greens up a little bit. Just getting the paint on and we can try to refine it later. to get some white. Now I want to lighten the yellow. Mm. 
pull out the plug. This. Yep. It's okay. Whatever you do, keep your brushes moist, wet. Because if you don't, then the acrylic dries. Bye bye brush. Right now, a bit of white in there. greens and the dark greens whatever greens we like okay. here we're going to use a different stroke we're going to use um, uh, a brush that we'll, we'll do for stippling but doing reeds and tangles and stuff Dark up in, the, in, the, in there, shadow. Oh, we're we going to uh, be careful of that. Now, that colour hasn't really dried much lighter than I put it on, a little bit maybe. Okay, now then, a bit of, uh, bit of Payne's grey, a bit of ultramarine, a bit of red. Patch of red. So I put a few uh, trunks and branches in, it will uh, start to make sense. Because then we've got a flat, like a, a field in area, you put in a few light coloured branches with a rigger or something, it opens the whole thing up. Shadow underneath these overhanging leaves into that depth. Just the blue, the grey, and the red. Comes on, you have to. Let it dry or dry it off. <laughs> In the brush. What's the time? Ooh, it's ten past ten. Really, I have to change my station. Excuse me. Sorry about this. It's talk radio I'm listening to, but it's been 10 o'clock, it, it cuts off and then starts up again a few minutes later. Take my penny off, it's going to be a bit filthy, I'll show you. Look at that. I'm going to ask my wife if she'll bung it in the washing machine. 
That would be beyond me. Okay, right. Yeah. Brush. Put in some darks in here now. To the right of this here is a park called Poulter's Park. Get some dark bits in here. See, by putting a dark in, you can then super, super let's go over like that and get the lights and it accentuates the lights. Right, I want to get a bit dark around, uh, around here. Okay, so we can count to change the lights, right. Um, I'm going to give that a, a dry now. So take your headphones off, go. I do use a fair bit of paint, it's a little bit damp. Uh, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Let's just. That's about it. Right, stipple. I'm using this uh, plastic tray which I use for water. Well, not that I do. I've got three or, three or four of them. All ready to go for watercolours. Um, but I don't know where oh, one of them is behind me. Get some bit of light now and there. Got a bit of red in there, a bit of blue and make a nice green, darker. I 
I've got two uh, channels in. That one. Sorry about this, but the uh, radio is very important to me. I listen to more, well, no, I don't watch more television, <laughs> but uh, watch some really good Netflix series about a chess player, a young chess player. Remarkable piece of work. It's not true, it's a novel, but it's beautifully done. It's a sort of mini series. Just a sort of a bit of clean going in there. Different greens, shadow greens. It's a bit wet. Not surprising, is it? Right, let's do a bit of, bit of stipple in the foreground while that's all sort of drying off. Let's put my brush to one side. Good old dunk in the water. And a bit of water there. Uh, Paints grey. Or reeds and stuff. Stuff. Oh, it gets dark, really dark green now. Not sure I like what I've done there. So let's uh, try this couple of this hake. Get some light in where it's catching. I recommend you clean your palette after using acrylic because it does stick. 
I'm being plastic, it sticks to plastic. Touch of water. Now I'm not working from the photograph, i am cut myself adrift. This is a little bit of a green to that. Uh, right, let's get some light in there while we're at it. Shadow, shadow green. Right, now we've got to bring it to life. I'm thinking of using a hake. Uh, to put a bit more yellow. Keep that in the, in the drink. Um, Yellow, yellow, yellow. <clears throat> These are graduate, or well, most of them graduate, wins for Newton. I got these at the range, but the range, that's a, a huge uh, sort of hardware store with every sort of household item, except the one you want. Um, they had a lovely art section in my local one at uh, Croydon. But uh, they leased off a lump of a, a big corner of the building for an Iceland supermarket. No, I like Iceland, we use it. Iceland. Uh, See how that opens up. Look at the light on this side. I can put some light, some dark, some dark trunks in. 
to Bavaria. Once you put it on, it stays there. Clean the brush. Come over the other side. I think maybe I might have better luck with a river. Let's uh, try. It's all a muddy green. Gonna wish to pull over a bit you don't like. Just doing a sort of a greeny colour. Look, see how it opens up. You can paint the background as dark as you like. If you put a few bits of darks in as well, I will do those in a few course. Right. Gotta work on that reflection in a minute. Bit of blue. Put a little bit of water in here, soften the edge. Before it dries. So there we've got a sort of a shadow. Ooh, Ooh what did I do there? Change that right. Let's go, go, go be bigger and go back with some uh, darker things. A bit of paint spray, a bit of
so just that variety of the light bits same over the other side Just the uh, highlighting. I'll give that a good try and then we'll refine it and call that a morning. <laughs> Right, now I want to put some warmer colours in the foreground. So I'll go back to Frank's brush. It's a good brush this is. I watched the one of Frank Clark's videos in bed earlier yesterday. Very entertaining. Really nice person as well. Very good demonstrator. A bit warm colour. some uh, warmer lights someone here turning leaves Oops. right well we've got a reflection coming down there um, I don't really want to do much on that this uh, will state some of that light here. Right. I'll sign that.
no birds, no ducks. So let's uh, take uh, take the uh, clips off and we'll Ooh, God, that's hard. This little clip is so hard on my fingers. Kills me wrist. Well, there we are. We've got an acrylic. Uh, let's just uh, move the camera. There we are, the wandle on uh, the wandle yesterday morning. It's only a, for memory and from looking at the, a painting I previously did, but I I got I sort of um, turned off of the photograph and just carried on. It's all about counter change, light against dark, cool against warm. You know, I mean, you've got warm colours in the sky, but you know that sky. But all this here, you, coming forward, we've, we've got the planes of, of the apparent blueness in the distance, contrasting with the light and the warmth of the foreground. It's not a, a sort of a great, so I could probably do more to it than that. But it's a demonstration, and I hope you get something from it, folks. I really do enjoy painting these. Uh, it's, uh, it's all there. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.